Hello everybody and welcome to part 4 of my Aileron Slackware series. In this video we're going to install, compile and install the GNAT Call GPL 2011 library. As you can see here, it's already downloaded it from the libro.adacore.com website. So let's unpack it. Got a new source directory, change into that one. And then we'll do the configure dash dash help. As you can see, and as opposed to Forest uh, that we did in part two and XML later in part three, there's actually quite a lot of uh, possibilities in in the configure script for GNAT call. In our case, we're going to use the prefix to tell it we want it in USR GNAT. We're going to disable projects, just do something, and disable PGGK. Yeah, and you can see the summary here. We have no GGK plus support in it, no Python support, no PyGGK, we disabled that one specifically, syslog support, PostgreSQL, yes, no SQLite, projects, no, we specifically disabled that also, and GMP is also supported. So that was the configure script. Next script, the compile step, we need to set the processes environment variable, set to four, and then we do make. That's done. Do make install. And remove to the examples directory. Just do plain make in here just to compile those. And we have it. Go to the let's see. Let's try as another GMP tool here. Let's do nice little disk prime. In the candidate number, six. Ooh, six is not a prime. Thirteen. Thirteen is a prime. Amazing stuff. So as you can see, the GNET call library is now working. Uh, in order to use it, you have to with the packages that you want to use. And in GNET call, there are all sorts of different things. You have PostgreSQL support if that's compiled in, uh, logging to syslog, uh, GMP here as you can see, and all sorts of stuff that you can see on, on in the GNET call manual on the adacore.com website. So that, that concludes part four of my little Aileron Slackware uh, series. I hope to see you in part five where we'll be installing the AWS Ada Web Server component. Thank you.